For this review, we're looking at a limited edition and it's commissioned by Maguire's Models, which is a dealer in the UK. It's a WSI truck model, so the packaging is what you would expect from WSI. But one difference is that it includes a collector card, and this is one of a run of 200 models. The truck itself is a DAF XF Super Space Cab, and it's in the colours of Smiths of Berry, which is a company in the north of England. The real truck has a trailer made by the Belgian company Faymonville, but a modelling compromise is that the trailer is a Bosthouse trailer. To assemble the model and get it ready for the road, we'll just attach the trailer to the DAF, and that's easy and straightforward. The trailer has many options, and one of them is to build a storage box on the gooseneck. The sides of the box are metal and they plug in easily to holes in the gooseneck. And it's nice that the parts are a good fit and not too loose. Just like any other storage box, you can then fill it up with all sorts of bits and pieces. There's another thing we can do at this stage of the assembly, and that's to store the loading ramps. And they slide into holders at the back. The DAF chassis is a 6x2, even though at the front it's marked as a 6x4, but it all looks nicely detailed. The cab looks great, and it's got a realistic number plate. But it's the high quality of the graphics and paint which sets the model apart. That continues behind the cab with a nicely marked storage tower. And the high quality paint and graphics also continue to the rear of the truck. The detailing of the Bross House trailer underneath is very good with tanks and hoses. The plastic timber inlays are nicely detailed and there's a yellow stripe down the edges. The trailer has Bross House mud flaps and beacon lights add to the look at the back. Let's take the DAF out onto the Cranes Etc Super Highway. And it rolls moderately well, but there's a bit of stickiness in the rear axle. Picking it up, the steering has a moderate angle. So the model will pose well, and you can drive it in a very gentle curve. Just imagine this in real life, a giant hand coming down and tilting the cab. Well, this is real life, and under the cab is a nicely detailed engine. Let's move on to the Boss House trailer, and there are plenty of features and options. To begin with, it rolls quite nicely on the super highway. And the first feature is that each of the axles has nicely sprung suspension. The trailer also has linked steering and the rear two axles move, and the range of movement is moderate. But once again, if you set the steering, it poses quite well and will trace a shallow curve. Another feature is that the landing legs can be unscrewed and lowered, although the legs at the rear for the loading ramp are non-functional. Also, sometimes you just need to stretch out, and this trailer can do that for you because it's telescopic, and so it's good if you want to transport some long loads. Other features include marker boards which pull out from under the gooseneck, and there are also boards which plug in at the rear. Other options for the load deck include locking bolts for shipping containers, or there are plenty of metal deck posts that you can fit. They just drop into holes, but you might need to adjust them a bit to get them to be straight. Another feature of the model is that you could extend the deck width. And to do that, you need to get your fingernails sharp and pull out the small plastic beams in the deck edge. Then you need to sharpen your eyesight and sort out the plastic timber beams and carefully place them into position. But perhaps the most interesting thing to do on a model like this is to put some loads on. So let's start by adding a support beam to the deck. This gets placed over and held in place by a couple of deck posts, and it provides a support that's at the same level as the gooseneck. So you can carry a longer load like these pair of tower crane sections without having to extend the deck. Just for fun, we'll extend the deck a little and place on a big crawler track assembly. And because we enjoyed seeing something stick out longer, we'll extend the deck further and put on a large crane boom section. As another option, we can carry some mobile crane parts and we'll put the spreader plates onto the gooseneck. And then add on the counterweight tray, and just for good measure, we'll add on a hook as well. Finally, there are some ramps included with the model, and that includes two up from the deck to the gooseneck. And we'll take out the two main loading ramps from the storage compartments at the rear. Once we put those in place, then the truck is ready to be loaded.
This is another very nice limited edition truck model by WSI. And a particular highlight is the high quality graphics and paintwork on the DAF tractor. There is a modelling compromise that the trailer is a boss house and not a Feynmanville as on the real truck. But it's got a lot of functionality so overall this model is outstanding. Mm -hmm.